of pitch, almost a week now to reflect on the goal of straw with Salford. What, what's the overall emotion now? Is it, is it frustration at not getting the win or as a defender are you feeling pretty pleased that you've done your job and got that clean sheet? Yeah, obviously pleased and uh, I think it's going to come over in time, the, uh, the goals obviously. But um, now the lads are working hard um, and they know more than anyone that they want to score but it's just that final product that they're going to have to work on but I'm sure confident in the, in, in the lads that, that they're going to get there. And you, you missed large parts of pre-season with, with, with injury but came back in at the start of the campaign. Are you, are you feeling fully fit and fresh now? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, yeah, Obviously pre-season wasn't uh, the best for me. Um, but now I've, I've got a few 90 minutes under my belt and I'm feeling good. And the, the, the two boys uh, in the back three with you, they're, they're ones you didn't play all that much with last yeah, uh, obviously you, could, you had you had some different partnerships, but is that one forming nicely? That back three, it look, oh yeah, looks, looks strong to me. Definitely, well it shows, doesn't it? Two clean sheets, um, and we're playing well together, I think. But um, it's nice to uh, play with them, yeah. And and how do you judge a successful performance from from your point of view? Obviously, the, the main goal for everyone is, is to get that win. But in cases like Saturday, when when it finished nil nil, what are you judging as a successful ninety minutes? As a defender, it's just a clean sheet, really. That's the main thing as a defender. Keep the ball out of the net and hope for the strikers put it in their net. And a couple important tackles from yourself. It must be nice to have that full involvement. Yeah, yeah, as well. de definitely. Yeah, definitely. It's always nice to uh, do my bit for the for the boys. And looking ahead to uh, Saturday now, Walsall obviously a side we played twice last season. Didn't play everyone twice because of the early curtailment. But mm -hmm. Walsall, a draw at their place in the second game of the season, and then a two-one defeat at the New Lawn. There's no hiding then, uh, based on last season, that they're going to be a, a difficult opponent. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they're a good team, and we know what they're about. We've had a look at them, and uh, we know our game plan. And if we can, uh, if we can perform it, I'm sure we're going to get. I'm sure we can win. And and the fact that you didn't get one over on them last season is that added motivation, I suppose, this season. Always, yeah. Time? It always is, yeah. I mean, you you want to beat everyone, but uh, sometimes it's that. Um, sometimes when you don't get the better of them the season before, you want to turn them over this season. And, and can that be a case of carrying like frustration and using it as, as motivation and kicking on and knowing that you have what it takes to beat this team, you just got to do yeah, it? Yeah, definitely, yeah. I mean, I'm sure we can beat anyone in this league if we're on our game. And with that mindset, is, is there anything that can stop you in, in a pose within your own head? No, I don't think so. No, if we stick together, I'm sure we'll be good. I'm sure we'll be fine. And, and on that note of sticking together, the, the team spirit looks fantastic out there. You were doing uh, some, some fitness drills at the end of training session and the the atmosphere within the squad just looks fantastic. Yeah, a nice one to be part of. Oh yeah, it's a great group of lads. Really enjoying it at the uh, this season. But uh, yeah, definitely. And how important is is team spirit uh, throughout the season, not just game to game? Yes, yeah, I mean it's not just on the pitch that you got to be uh, close together. It's off the pitch as well and sticking together. And I think that plays a massive part. I do. Yeah. So off the pitch is it a case of uh, e even when you're away from the club, seeing each other, going out for food, yeah, yeah. just making sure those relationships are there yeah. for, for that 90 minutes on the pitch. Yeah, 100% exactly that, yeah, exactly that. And what are you expecting from Walsall? You've mentioned now that you, you, you've done your clips. Uh, they're probably going to be a, a little bit of a different side to the one you, you faced last season. That, that always is the case after a long summer. So what are you expecting to see from them in terms of their play style and, and how they're going to come at you? Yeah, no, we know they've got a big man up top. I think they'll hit him and play off him, but they do it very well. And uh, they've got some quick wingers. So I think they use that very well and they'll be getting balls in the box. So we need to be on top of our game. And how's that uh, going to be for you in the back three dealing with, um, with, the, with the big lad? Because obviously, unlike a lot of back threes, you, you haven't got like a six foot four guy in there. You're all, mm. you're all about about six foot so perhaps maybe slightly under what you'd expect from a centre back but you seem to be winning those aerial duels still how, how does that work it's just you've just got to get around each other and be organized uh, if you lose a header it doesn't matter because the other two you need to trust them and uh, make sure they're backing you up so so is it a case of having that connection with your uh, with your teammates and knowing that you all read the game in the same way and yeah. that you have that knowledge yeah exactly that yeah exactly that just backing each other up uh, and, and finally go, going into the game obviously it's one you want to win a win and, and two draws so far from a, from a very tough start to the season on paper. That, does that give you confidence going into this one? Yeah, 100%. I think we just need to kick on now and start getting the three points on the ball because we know we could have had three out of three wins really, but um, I'm sure it'll come. I'm and, sure it'll come. And is that the, the fact that you haven't got those wins? Is that a, a frustration or or do you still take the positives yeah. and know you can kick on? Yeah, exactly that. Yeah, exactly that. Thank you very much. Thank you.